Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Why are you so loud? Like, you didn't have to be so loud. I'm sorry. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Okay, okay, okay. Go, I'm sorry. Do how you ever eat. Hey, what's going on? It's Chris. And Dee Maybe here. And today we're going to be reacting to Eminem's new video called Darkness. Yeah, we really don't listen to Eminem like that, so we're just going to go ahead and just get right into the video. And uh, yeah, let's just react. <laughs> It's like the walls are closing in. You can't help me, no one can. I can feel these curtains close and I go to open them. But something pulls them closed again. All right. First and foremost, I feel like he's like super depressed. He's going through something, obviously. Man, this man is about to die. Whoa, why would you say that? It's really <laughs> negative. <laughs> I'm that, that's not funny. Why would no, you say that? No, no, I'm saying like he's acting like he's about to die. He's not, I mean, he's just going through something. He's like, he's going through some type of mental battle. Feels like I'm loathing in Las Vegas. Haven't got the Vegas, why I'm so lost. But I'd make you the small wager. If I bet you I'll be in tomorrow's paper. Who would the odds favor? Being tomorrow's paper for what? That's crazy. So much like my father, you would think that I knew it. I keep pacing this room, value and chase it with booze. One little taste it'll do. Maybe I'll take it and snooze, then tear up the stage in a few. Fuck the Colt 45, I'ma need something stronger. If I pop any caps, it better be off of vodka. Round after round after round, I'm getting loaded. That's a lot of shots, huh? I'm gonna be yeah. This is so sad. That's why I was talking about death, cause this this whole like video is giving off like a very like suicide, like basically going out, like mash, doing something very bad. <laughs> Service menu off a of benzo. I can hear the music continue to crescendo. I can see the whole fucking venue from my window. That's when you know you're schizo. Cause I keep peeking out the curtain from the hotel. The music is so loud that it's almost as though I don't hear no sound. I should get ready for the show now. Wait, is this the whole crowd? I thought the shit was sold out. But it's only the opening act. It's early, don't overreact. There's something told me relax and just hope for the show to be packed. To wanna hit the stage before they fill each row to the max. Cause that'd be totally whacked. You can't murder a show, nobody's at. But what if nobody shows? Panic mode, about to snap and go motherfucking wacko at any second. About to cancel the show just as fans below rush the entrance. Plan is a go direct shit, cameras in all directions. The press is about to go ape shit, bananas on all the networks. Commando with extra clips, I got ammo for all the hecklers. I'm on to the teeth. Another volume fall off the bed, hit the ground and crawl to the dresser. Alcohol on my breath as I reach for the scope. I'm blacking out, I'm all out of meds with them benzodiazepines. Gone now, it's just magazines sprawled out on the floor. Fuck the media, I'm going all out, this is war. starts to go up and i'm already sweating but i'm locked and loaded for rapid fire spitting for all the concert goers scopes for sniper vision surprise from out of nowhere as i slide the clip in from inside the hotel leaning out the window going kinds of soul oh, on the trigger. based off of that shooting that happened in vegas i think that was, was it last year or two years ago i remember there was something on the news it was someone in, in Vegas, they were leaving. I think it wasn't no, it wasn't Ariana Grande. It was someone and like a concert. They were leaving it was a, a concert. concert. They were leaving a concert, and then people got people were getting sniped. Yeah, I rem I think I remember that. And it was like he killed a lot of people, like from yeah, the, from a hotel his hotel room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm a licensed 
Over. No suicide, no just a note for target distance. But if you'd like to know the reason why I did this, you'll never find a motive. Truth is, I have no idea. I am just this stump, no signs of mental illness. Just trying to show you the reason why we're so fucked. Cause by the time it's over, we'll make the slightest difference. <laughs> So do you think he's trying to shed light to people who are in darkness? Are in darkness, but not necessarily him. Yeah, it's not him. It started off with it seeming like it's him, but he really tried to make it seem as though anyone and everyone is kind of like in darkness in some way. And he just like made an association with the shooting that happened in Vegas. Yeah. And then he's saying he doesn't want to be alone in the darkness. Yeah. And we have just learned that police are saying that the Las Vegas shooter killed him. That is the bartender there at Mandalay Bay, and I believe we are going to hear more. Yeah, we just wanted to share that with you. You can see the highway here. This is what he looks like. Now, we did just tell you that police just earlier, Metro was telling us that he killed himself inside the hotel room. But I feel like he's still kind of making a connection to like a shooter and then like being in the industry. Like, because he was then talking about shows and stuff like that and no the audience. Up or being scared no one's gonna show up. Well, not just that. Like, I know not just that, I'm just saying, like, what else he was saying. Some of the things he was saying, like... Hmm. This is actually interesting. Good morning. As we come to you on the air, we bring you breaking news, a school shooting. Another school shooting reports of a number of fatalities, and this time it is in Santa Fe, Texas, that is just outside Galveston, a suspect shooting at a Southern California. We are following breaking news this morning, another deadly school shooting, this one in Santa Fe, Texas. It's just outside Houston. 26 killed and 20 others were found for one of the deadliest shooting in five years from dead and attacked her opening fire outside the church during the morning worship session. He had loaded a chaotic and was still working his way inside. This a deadly shooting at a food festival in Northern California. Three people so far dead. Breaking news. A deadly shooting in a newspaper office in Annapolis. Newly released surveillance video shows the moments leading up to the mass shooting. So what do you think about the video? I think that it was good. I mean, I think that was, it really brought a lot of awareness. It was kind of confusing in the beginning, honestly. Very confusing. Because you won't expect that, but I mean, the title makes sense, the darkness. So I think like a lot of people definitely um, needed to see a video like that. I think the American needs to see that video because it is something that's like consistently happening. A lot of gun shootings are happening. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good video. Because you didn't expect it to end up that way. I was assuming it was going a whole different route. I thought he was trying to shed light on, like, um, being in the industry and maybe, like, different, like, paranoia you may experience or different stress and stuff like that and how they go to drinking and alcohol because that's also a problem too mm -hmm. that's also been a problem too and a lot of people have died themselves because of that in that field mm -hmm. 
Yeah, like maybe he was gonna tie it up to like the Juice World thing. Yeah. That's what I kind of maybe thought too. Because did it wasn't he found? They were he was found with overdose. Guns. Oh yeah, exactly. Guns, guns and drugs. Yep. And pills. And you know, pills. All right, well, that was um, very dark. Yeah. That really brought down our frequency. Yeah, that was definitely a low frequency. So we're definitely going to have to watch a very funny video for our next video. Thank you guys so much for watching our reaction to Eminem's Darkness music video. We hope that you enjoyed it. And, yeah, definitely go register and vote to change the gun laws because that actually does need to be changed. What do you think about gun laws? Do you think we should have access to guns? Uh, yeah, I think we should have access. I think police should have access to guns. I think the police shouldn't have access. I don't think anybody should have access to guns. Except for, like, higher... Like, I don't think it's a possibility in America. I think Americans like guns. I feel like if it was just, like, maybe, like, the FBI that had guns, and, like, the police don't really have guns. Like, I don't know. Because I feel like even the, certain type of police have yeah, guns. Yeah, certain type of police have guns. Like it has to be like a big case and not just any police just has a gun. Like police who are doing traffic stops shouldn't have guns if you're just doing giving tickets. And even just your rank, like yeah, your rank should make you deserve to, to have a deserve gun. to have a gun and like you would have been through like excessive obsessive training or excessive training to know when to use the gun and even how to use a gun. Like mm -hmm. I feel like police should not still like kill people. Like you could shoot without killing. You know what I mean? But I don't know. Unless they're trying to kill you. Yeah, unless they're trying to kill you. But if everyone doesn't, like, if civilians don't have access to guns, then, like, it shouldn't really be a problem. People are just going to get guns no matter what. I don't know. It's just, like, a really never, it's like a never ending type battle. Like, yeah. you don't really know when to draw a line. It's kind of difficult. But yeah, we're going to definitely have to watch um, a funnier video because that really brought our frequency down. Yeah, I think we like funny stuff. We like funny stuff. That was really, really dark, but it makes sense as to why it was called darkness. Mm -hmm. But um, thank you guys. See you in our next video. Ooh, am I, am I, am I sweating? I feel like it's my deodorant. <laughs> Peace out, guys. Bye.